Well, it's the big day. They're getting married. So everyone needs to start waking up. Up, up, up. And what's that noise? I hear something downstairs. Uh, who turned on the music downstairs? Hello, hello, hello. Is anyone here? Mother has arrived. Oh my God, it is Cece. Mama has. Theodore's mother's here for the wedding. Theodore didn't want her here. Oh, she's such a diva. She's gonna chase Margo away. He better go talk to his mama and tell her what's going on. Oh, mother, so good to see you. But what are you doing here? You shouldn't have just come over uninvited. Sweetheart, you're my son. I come wherever I please. <laughs> but mother, it was quite rude of you just to show up like that. No notice or anything. Oh, sweetheart, I don't need to announce my presence. Besides, what's the problem? And I see this house is beautiful. You're doing quite well for yourself. Now come give mother a hug. I've missed you. And by the way, when were you planning on telling your mother you was getting married? I heard about it. Oh, I was going to tell you soon, mother. I hope so. I can't wait to see this young lady of yours. So where is she? Well, of course I want you to meet her, mother. In fact, here she comes soon. Oh, that'd be lovely, son. Oh, and it seems you've gotten a maid. Hello, sweetheart. Would you mind getting me a drink? Gin on the rocks. Well, Miss Haves, I'm not the maid. I'm Theodore's fiance. <laughs> you must be joking, dear. No, seriously, mother, this is my fiance. This is Margot Knotts. Her daughter Cecilia is upstairs. Son, uh, I'm, I'm just confused here. What happened to that nice girl you were talking to before? Well, mother, we didn't work out, obviously. And that's why I'm now with Margot. Oh, honey, you sure you can't make it work with the other girl? She was so lovely. Theodore, may I please talk to you in private now? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, mother, can you please excuse us? Oh, well, that's fine. You two talk. I'll help myself to a drink. Theodore, your mother is acting like an absolute bitch. How can you not have told her about me? Oh, sweetheart, I know mother's hard to handle, but please listen to me. No, Theodore, you should have told her about me by now. Sweetheart, I'm sorry. Besides, it's only for today, I'm sure. And after the wedding, she'll be gone. Well, that's the way I prefer it anyway. Oh. Uh, excuse me, who are you? Oh, well, darling, I'm Theodore's mother. And who exactly are you? I'm Margot's daughter. Oh, well, I can see the family resemblance. Trash, trash all the way. Um, isn't it a bit early in the morning to be drinking gin? Sweetheart, you have moxie and spunk. I like you. Well, at least that awkwardness is out of the way. Now we can talk about the important stuff, the wedding. And of course we're heading in the limo. And apparently Cece is coming with us. That's right, we're getting married. Let's head on down to the church. Aw, enjoying their last dance as single people. Going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. All right, everyone, let's hustle. It's showtime, people. Now, it was unexpected for Mama Halves to show up, but we're not going to let her ruin this day. This is going to be the best day of Theodore and Margot's life. Mother, where's Cece? Cece, come on, hurry up. Don't, don't go that slow. We know you're not happy. We get it, but we all know you don't walk that slow. If there was a drink in the car, you wouldn't be going that slow. Well, let's head on to the church. How long is this drive, Theodore? And where are the drinks? Okay, we're finally at the church. Whew, I hope Theodore's not getting cold feet. It's too late to back out now. Now, let's get everybody here and make sure the caterers and everyone's coming. Exclusive access. Only our people that's invited to the party can come. And it's only going to cost about $320. That's not bad for a wedding. Yes, four o'clock will be perfect. Formal attire, of course. Now let's get only our nearest and dearest friends to come. 
And of course, when I mean nearest and dearest, I mean the people who gave campaign donations to me. <laughs> yes. That's right, the wedding starts at four. Oh boy, this is it, you guys. The wedding is finally happening. And Margot and Cecilia need to get in hair and makeup. Uh, looks like Theodore's mom has something else to say about this day, though. But he's so excited. Sweetheart, are you sure you want to go through with this? It's not too late to back out. Mom, I'm telling you, I care about Margot very much, and I'm not going to back out on it. Is it the money? Because I can pay the caterers and everything. I can make this whole thing go away. Mother, I'm telling you for the last time, I'm happy. Please butt out of it. Seriously. I'm not a little boy anymore. Please, just go get dressed. Well, if you say you're happy, I got no choice but to believe you. Okay, everyone's starting to show up, so let's start getting dressed. Now we got Theodore changed, so his mother needs to get changed. Honestly, mother, did you have to wear all that black? I'm mourning the loss of my only son. Of course I am. I'm not dying, mother. <laughs> okay, she looks normal again. Oh, Margot looks gorgeous in her dress. Look at her. Oh, and look how pretty Cecilia looks, too. She looks like a little angel. Well, it's pretty much time for the ceremony to begin. Well, time to go get married. Wish me luck, mother. Margot, darling, you look lovely. Are you ready to do this? There's no backing out now. Why would I back out, Theodore? I've never been so happy in my life. Of course, it's making Cecilia unhappy, but the show must go on. Everyone take your seats. The wedding's about to begin. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, oh the ceremony is perfect. Oh, and they look so happy. Oh, my heart. Mom, you're faking it. Get up. And with their rings now exchanged, I now present to you Theodore and Margot Haves. Now, Theodore, kiss your new wife for the very first time. Oh, lovely. Oh, and our bartenders are already here for the reception. Perfect. So thank you, everyone, so much for coming. Now let's all head to the reception. Now time for the reception. Cecilia, please put on some more appropriate music. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, now time for the first dance. Oh, they look so beautiful here. Come on, don't be shy, Theodore. Show off your dance moves. Ooh, and paparazzi's here. Fabulous. Darling, would you like to dance for me, especially while the paparazzi's here? Of course, sweetheart. Let's give them a good story. Oh, I made a mistake. Shut up, mother. Oh. This is exactly the night they've been trying to plan their whole life. Everything's going perfect so far. Even Cecilia's behaving herself. Cecilia, don't you dare. Cecilia. You know what? I just got through saying she was behaving herself. Now look at Cecilia. Well, you know what? You're not going to steal the attention from us this night. <laughs> I knew I liked this girl. Now give me a maker's mark. Straight up. They can't even be bothered with her antics right now. It's the perfect night. There's no reason to give her this kind of attention. Cecilia might as well give it up. They're not paying attention. They don't care. Yeah, just give one up, sweetie. Sweetheart, I know the game you're trying to pull, and believe me, it doesn't work for long. The best way to get back at them is just to grow up and do exactly what you want once you're older and out of their reach. You know what, CC? You may be old, but you got some good advice in you. Call me old again, and I will slash your face, sweetheart. <laughs> okay. You know, I thought this was going to be an open bar, but it turns out it's not. You want to blow off this party and I'll teach you how to drive? In the limo? Sure. Okay, dear. Just don't call me grandma. I'm obviously too young to be a grandmother. Let's go. 
Hey, enough of this slow music. It's time to really rock out. Come on, let's dance, Theodore. Oh, ah. Uh. That's right. Oh, Theodore, I didn't know you had moves like this. Oh, yes, darling. I can get down with the get down. Well, I have to say, this wedding pretty much went off without a hitch. I mean, besides mother showing up and fainting at the ceremony, trying to steal all the attention off us, and then Cecilia dancing on tabletops, which was just outrageous. Speaking of which, where are they? I guess they went home. Whatever. And Theodore has another surprise for his brand new bride. I wanted to keep it a surprise, but I've booked as a honeymoon. We leave right away. Oh my goodness, are you serious? <laughs> this is perfect. Where are we going? We're going to France. I'll call the limo right now and we'll head to Paris right away. Oh my god. And of course, just Theodore and Margot are going. In fact, it's kind of perfect timing that CC is here because she can stay with Cecilia. I'm sure they'll get along well together. So there's just gonna be three days of just Margot and Theodore. Okay, thank you, driver. He's pulling the limo around right now. Ah, Paris, the city of love, the city of lights. Isn't it so romantic? And this is where Theodore and Margot are going for their honeymoon. Oh, and look at Margot in her Parisian outfit. Oh, this place is so romantic. <laughs> I haven't seen Theodore this giddy in a long time. Hmm, well this place is a bit homelier than I was expecting. Where are the nice five-star base camps? What do they expect us to do? Rough it out? Do we not have our own private bathrooms? Oh, third world countries. Well, I guess we'll choose this room as the bedroom. And it doesn't really matter what our room looks like. It's not like we'll be spending much time in it. I mean, besides at night. <laughs> Come on, we're in France. I want to explore. Ooh, so where shall we go first? Oh, you know I want to go to the next three. Let's go. On your phone. Tweeting about your abroad travels. <laughs> Letting the people of Sinhattan know exactly what you're up to, huh? Come on, don't leave Margot waiting. That's right, we're traveling to the Nectarian style. Oh, look at this beautiful countryside. So pretty. Oh, that guy has a Vespa. We should get Vespas. It'd be so cute to drive around on Vespas together. Ah, oh, now here's the Nectary. Let's check it out. Well, now this place is more like it. It's quite lovely here. So they're going to teach us how to make nectar. Hmm, it seems quite primitive. Apparently, we have to pick our own grapes and then stomp on them with our pedicured toes. But hey, when in Rome. So let's pick some of these grapes. Oh, this is going to be a fun little experience for them to have together. And we all know theater hasn't done a day of honest work in a long time. This might be beneficial to him. Let's see, these are nice quality grapes. Hopefully they make some nice quality nectar. I'm not exactly trying to get them drunk. I just want them to have some fun. <laughs> See, dear, I told you we should have bought Maid and Cook along with us so they could do this for us. It's quite hard having to work in this sun. You know my fair skin burns easily. Oh, and it looks like he wants to go to the museum. Well, definitely go to the museum. How about Margot? Does she want to go to the museum? She wants to learn how to make nectar. We'll definitely do that. Thank goodness there's so many grapes in this field. And I think there's an apple tree back there. Yeah, there's like tons of apple trees. Can we harvest? Yeah, some of them are actually harvestable. Does anything else have apples on it? It doesn't look like it. No, there's only one apple tree that's ready to harvest right now. But that's okay. Because I think we'll have enough grapes and we'll have enough apples to actually make a nice bottle. Hopefully they can both make their own bottle. Could that be so cute? Take home two bottles of wine. Finally have some wine to put in our cellar at that, you know? It'll be like their anniversary wine. They can drink it for their first anniversary. Well, if they're married that long. <laughs> but no, I think they'll be together for a long, long time. And they'll drink that wine on their first anniversary. 
Now, Margot's having fun, but I think she chipped her nail. I'm sure she's upset about that. I think that's it for the grapes. Or is it? No, there's a couple more grapes. Theodore's getting to it, and I think there's grapes over here, too. See, the Sims can see the grapes better than I can because they blend in so well. My eye was not showing me that. Okay. <laughs> now, how many do they have? That should be enough for them to both make their own bottle. There shouldn't be a problem. In fact, I don't even think they need the apples. I think they have enough grapes. So when we get over here, there's two machines. Perfect. And we're going to add our grapes to them. So she can add her grapes in here. He can add his grapes in here. And they can both make their own separate bottles of wine. And we will not drink them. We'll take them back home to our wine cellar. My goodness, how long are you guys going to be out there? There's like, okay, there's more grapes than I thought there were. <laughs> like, they're taking forever. I think when he's done with this batch, I'll stop him. Because that's a lot. He, Like, there's other people here. We can't take all the grapes. That's so rude. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I found me some more grapes. Stop stealing all the people's grapes. <laughs> now, nobody better get on our machines. Those are our machines. And of course, we'll buy some wine here just to try, but let's make our own first. Okay, let's get all the grapes in. Oh, I want to get some of these green grapes in. I want like a few of all the grapes. Okay, I think that's enough grapes for everyone. Theodore, where have you gone? Okay, so they have enough grapes in there now so they can start squishing the fruit. Okay, this is the messy parts, guys. Come on, that's right. Get in there. Oh, Theodore slipped right into it. Oh, and I love Margot's Parisian bathing suit. Very fancy. You know Theodore had to take his lady shopping before they even got to Paris and did more shopping. Well, at least they're having fun. And he fell. He keep busting his behind. Oh, but look, it's all smooth now. So now he can actually start making nectar, uh, basic nectar. And she can start making hers. There we go, get the machine going. Oh, we're turning the cranks and everything. I hope it doesn't taste like feet, because that would be very disappointing. To come back home to Sim Hatton to all our friends and family, be like, yeah, we were on vacation, we made some wine, it tasted like toe jam. That's disgusting. My goodness, how many cranks and levers do you have to turn? Oh, paparazzi! Have you followed us abroad? I mean, we're not doing anything scandalous. We're just making wine. Oh, and the machines are going now. Well, while the machines do that, let's take a look around the nectary. Oh, let's browse some of these wine racks. We can have some samples. I'm sure it'll taste better than what we're making. Ooh, there's some very nice things in here. Oh, Margot's adoring her ring. Well, let's make a purchase. Um, these are pretty cheap. They're not. They're not that expensive. Which one did he look at? Cause that's not saying. Like, where's all the really expensive ones? Cause that's the one Theodore is more interested in. Wow, that's like a $500 bottle. Plasma Fruit Cherry Nectar. Ooh, that sounds good, though. We're going to try that one. But isn't that for, like, vampires or something? Plasma Fruit? Well, you know, I want to try it. So, let's buy it. Margo, you can get a bottle of the Plasma Fruit. And is there something else around here? This bottle is $732. That's fancy. We're getting that one, too. Those are going to our wine cellar. Now, let's find a wine that we can uh, just drink here just for... Oh, uh, we can taste. We have a wine tasting here, too. Okay, now we picked out a couple to buy. Now, let's actually sample some of this. A plum apple nectar. That sounds good. It looks like Margot already got a glass, but it came from the floor. <laughs> People are just pocketing. I don't feel like they're tasting. You just put it in your pocket. I don't trust you. Why is everyone putting it on the floor, though? And how's our wine? Okay, our wine finished. Tea halves. So we know this is the wine that he made. And when hers is done, okay, we'll put M halves. So now we know exactly which wines they created. 
Now let's go pick up our wine. Take nectar. Take nectar. Yes, Margo, I know you're enjoying your sampling, but come get your wine. Oh, they're enjoying their sample. Why are you so upset? There's another chair. It's not that big of a deal, sweetheart. Like, now she's mad. She's just going to drink her wine in the corner. <laughs> now, let's pick up our wine. So, we got it? Okay, cool. So, that actually made three bottles. That's awesome. We're going to have a lot of bottles to put into our wine cellar when we're done. And how many did she get out of that? She got three as well. We're going to have a lot of nice stuff to take back home with us. Well, I think it was a nice first day in France. I think we should head back home to the room. I think we should head back to the room so we can enjoy the rest of our honeymoon, especially now that we have a little nectar in our system. <laughs> Let's go, sweetie. Okay, time to head on back to base camp. Ooh, it is dark out here. I don't like that. Uh, is there anything to eat, though? Because they haven't eaten since they've gotten here. We could have salad. Now, I think in Paris, it's actually traditional to eat your meat before your salad. Because that's the French way or something like that. <laughs> but I don't know if that's correct or not. But we are having salad. <laughs> I think I got that. In fact, I don't think that's fact at all. I got that from King of the Hill. <laughs> I think that was something that Luann said. She was like, I'm going to have my meat before my salad. Trip says that's the French way. <laughs> uh, oh dear, today was simply divine. I oh dear, look at this. Paparazzi. Smile for the camera, sweetheart. We're a lovely couple enjoying our honeymoon. Well, the food here is not bad either. Now, I think we should uh, <clears throat> jump in the shower together. Oh, Theodore loves his ring. Don't worry about the dishes, Theodore. Margo has something else in mind for you. It is their honeymoon. They have a nice, beautiful chateau together. They shouldn't waste it. And there's a nice warm shower waiting for us upstairs, too. They spent all day long in the field getting the grapes. They need to get clean. That's right, sweetheart. I'm right behind you. <laughs> I can't think of a better way to spend your honeymoon, especially in Paris. <sighs> and now it's time for bed. But of course, we have to christen this room. <laughs> Margo is too excited. <laughs> in fact, I think it's been a while for both of them. I mean... Theodore and Margo have both been so wrapped up in their political career, they haven't really spent time together. It's not right. They need to have some alone time. I think this honeymoon was well worth the wait, though. I mean, everything has been so fantastic. I can't wait for tomorrow. Now get some sleep, you two. Yo! Dude, out. Seriously, paparazzi, get out of here. He's like watching us sleep and taking photographs. That is creepy. Uh-uh. Dude, please, sir, please stop watching us sleep. That is disgusting. He's like a peeping Tom. He's taking pictures. He's nasty. Ugh. Oh. Okay, well, now at least he's gone. Yeesh. Now they can get some rest. Margo, stop thinking about that man. Think about your husband. He thinking about you? He thinking about getting locked up now. Okay, at least now you think about your husband. He's thinking about getting arrested. Seriously? Oh, Margo's thinking about herself, and now he's thinking about this guy. Okay. You know, I'm going to leave you two alone. Go ahead, sleep. The guy's gone now. Well, it's the next morning in France, and these two are already up and can't seem to get enough of each other. Oh, it's so nice. I have to admit, I was worried about these two. I know theater has a wandering eye. Then again, I'm sure they wouldn't be this lovey-dovey if Marga knew exactly what theater did at his bachelor party. And don't forget about the rumors that were going around right at the time of the wedding that he had been caught cheating by paparazzi at that bachelor party. 
I don't think Margot's stupid. I think she knows exactly what happened at that bachelor party. But I think she's a smart enough woman to know a divorce would not look good while she's running for office right beside her husband. So it's bright and early and now the sun's shining. So I want them to go to some of the stores around here. I want them to go to some of the stores around here. What? Hold on a second. Major scandal has been reported that theater has was woohooing in public. And of course, Margot wasn't the target of this, only Theodore. He was woohooing his wife. And it's not public. They were in their room at base camp. That shouldn't even count as being in public. The foreign press are very particular, aren't they? Oh well. I sent them off to the little markets because it's so quaint and cute. Plus there's a little cafe down there. Come on, sweetie, the limo's waiting. Did we really need a limo to like go around the block? Fantastic. Let's see. Which store should we go into first? So let's browse around here. Ooh, look at this tent. Theodore. <laughs> oh, Margo's already excited about the tent. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even prompt her to do that. She was just like, I'm getting in this tent. Well then, no reason to waste a good tent. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Margo. <laughs> Ooh -hoo. If the tent's a rockin', don't come a-knockin'. Theodore doesn't care what rumors are going around with him. This is his very first honeymoon, and he's gonna enjoy every single moment of it. Well, uh, maybe you should go back into your regular clothes, Marco. But let's see what this store has to offer. I'm sorry for woohooing in your tent, but what do you have on sale? Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Shower in a can, some tents. Oh, an incense holder. That's cute. We'll take one of those. Ooh, Vespas. We want two of those. Let's see. What else? A treasure chest? I guess that's kind of cute. Nice little souvenir to take home with us. We'll take all those. Wrap them up, please. Thank you. Now, Theodore, please get out of the tent. Let's go to the next place. Oh, heart so full of love and love of fame. Oh, that paparazzi's here? Oh. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter if that paparazzi's guy there. I mean, who cares what they print as long as they spell your name right? Now, let's see what this place has. So many artifacts. Maybe they have something really cool around here. I would love to take something like this home. Star keep, star keep. Tell me what you have. Something fancy for the missus. Mm, they have a few vases. This one looks kind of nice. Nice gold vase. Hmm. I guess we'll take it. No discount. Oh, because of the rumor. Whatever. Now let's try the cafe that's like across the way. Because... They could get some cafe au lait. Sir, I'm trying to follow my wife. You're in my way. She right there. She looks so gorgeous in that dress. I really love this dress. Okay, the cafe looks empty, but they do have the uh, cash register. Let's see if we can buy anything from here. Oh, and they have the cappuccino. So, oh, yes, he can have the strawberry light cappuccino with chocolate sprinkles. That sounds good. And then she can have a cappuccino, too. She can have the delicious chai with cinnamon whipped cream. Now let's see what we can buy from here. I oh, have a cookie brownie muffin, cold one. That's a beer, I think, right? No. <laughs> uh, yogurt, popcorn, donuts, bagels. Oh, you could buy tomatoes and lettuce here, cheese danis, pizza, breakfast burrito. Oh, you could buy like all the different grapes here. So if like, if we wanted to have like our own winery at home, we could just buy these grapes, and uh, we could plant like a garden. That could be fun. Okay, wait, I didn't see the, uh, where do you buy the machine to make your own nectar? Because I didn't see one. Uh, should we have, maybe we should go back to the nectary and see if we can buy a nectary. Because I would like to do that. Wouldn't it be amazing Has would have their own winery company? That would be awesome. So let's buy, I guess like two of each to start out of these grapes and I think are those the only grapes I don't see any other let's see I only see those grapes but maybe the apple tree maybe like two apple trees 
And we can make our own wine, you know? So we're going to buy these. And then we're going to have our cappuccinos. Sir, are you trying to flirt with my wife? We're on our honeymoon. So rude. These people, they act like they don't know who we are just because we're across the ocean. Don't they know our fame transits all time-space continuums? <laughs> this vacation has been very cute so far. I'm very happy for both of them. And now they got some coffee in their system, so they have a little bit more energy. So let's see. We want to go back to that winery. Now where was it? Okay, here it is. But you know, he wanted to go to the museum, so let's go to the museum first. Because it's closer. <laughs> Margo, come along. The limo's waiting. Let's go. Driver, to the museum. And I think uh, we didn't have to buy all those because we have other grapes in our pockets already. But I just wanted to get more just in case something happened. See, he's already happy because we're at the museum even though we haven't gone inside yet. Now, it's dark in here, so I need to turn on some lights. Let's see. I like how when you go to Paris, they're not showing, like, the art of Parisian things. They're just showing, like, uh, it sh like it feels like I'm in China right now. Now, I know, of course, you can have an adventure down here because there's, like, a little hole in thing. I don't want to go on an adventure. It's quite scary and dark down there. But at least now Theodore got his chance to say he went to the museum in France. But we're going to the Nectary now. So we're going to go here with Date. So let's head on over to the Nectary. Okay, now we're at the Nectary. And let's see, can we buy the machine here? Because I do not know, but I'm curious to find out. Because I can't remember last night if the machine was in there. Hello, good woman. I want to see your items for sale. Let's see what this lady has. The people here in France are very passive-aggressive when you try to buy things from them. They're like, eh, I guess you can. They're not very nice at all. Okay, so they have all the different wines here. Like, they have the wine rack. Well, he has a wine rack, so he doesn't need that. But here's the machine, so we want one of those. There we go. No discount for you. That's fine. We don't need your discount. We have all the money we could ever want, so why would we need a discount? Well, at least it'd be nice to Margo. Somebody just asked for her autograph. How come people are mad at Theodore, not Margo? I don't understand. She was the other person in that tent. Oh, can we buy that? How do we buy that? Because I haven't seen that in any of the stores either. Or did we buy it and I'm just forgetting? Now, they have a place down here too, but it doesn't look all that fantastic. Except for that. What's going on there? And are there things in this room? No. But there's something going on down here. Um, Theodore may not want to do it, but I think Margo's adventurous. So she's going to explore that. Come on, Margo. We're going to go see what's down in that hole. Let's go. Someone wants to take a picture. Not right now, sir. Please. Theodore is talking to some woman. She's kind of manly looking. That's okay. <laughs> so let's see what's in this purple water. Don't be afraid. Woo! I thought she broke her neck. That's not even funny, because it happens. You dive and you hit the bottom of the pool, you can hurt yourself. Okay, she's looking around. She found nectar, 17-year-old nectar. That's, oh, that's cute. Oh my God, that's cool. Well, come on out there, Margo. Now you're all wet. Well, let's change her outfit into something else, because now she's soaked. Um... I don't think she has another every day, so we're going to have to change her into formal. <laughs> there we go. She looks pretty, and she's dry now. It doesn't matter if she stays in that outfit, but uh, I know she doesn't want to be... What is that? That is a huge chunk of rock. <gasps> oh, and look at these. Look at that. Ooh. These rocks are Nile diamonds. I want them to actually get a vacation home here in France, but I know they can't do that. Until they get enough points. He, she is taking her Vespa. Theodore, you better get on your Vespa. Oh, he's taking a limo. He's like, I don't travel on Vespa.
drivers. I have drivers take me where I want to go, unless I'm in one of my classic cars. He's such a stick in the mud. See, I think people like Margot better because she's a woman of the people. So let's just check out this bookstore. Is there anything interesting? Where's the soup? I don't see anything interesting. But at least he's able to look around at the art and stuff. Maybe there's any, maybe there's some good books to buy or something. So let's talk to the um, owner of this bookstore, see if there's anything to buy. So let's see. Oh, it's cookbooks. I didn't know that they had like cookbooks that are exclusive to France. I never realized that. They even have fishing books that's exclusive to France. Wow, okay. Oh, and that's the book on how to make nectar. She can read about it. Okay, well, we'll get one of those books. Definitely. That's awesome. Um, Boulognese. I mean, I don't know if she wants to make Boulognese. Maybe. I mean, at least she'll have, like, some knowledge. She can start making her own food for the party and we want to need cook. Oh, they have a second book. Crepes. I don't think she has level 8 cooking. I'm not sure about that. I don't think she'll be able to make crepes. But we'll buy the book anyway because we had the money, so why not? Yes, the the last uh, Nectarology book and Frog Legs book. And I, and I think that's all they have for the love of nectar. It's just a, a book about nectar. She might like that. We'll get her that too. So, that, ooh, that's $5,000. But that's okay. We have the money. Oh, he's just looking at his ring. He's like, of course I have money. Look at my wedding ring. So, it's already getting late again. And they only have, like, I don't know, maybe like an extra day left for their trip. See, now look at this house. This is beautiful. This is the kind of house I would want them to buy if they bought a house in France. But hopefully, one day they'll have, like, the, the Vista points. Now, let's see if she has the coffee maker. Do you have the coffee maker? Because I can't remember seeing it, but I want it if you have it. Uh, no, she didn't have the coffee maker. So I don't know where you get the coffee maker from. But it's getting late, so I think they should head back to base camp. And I'm pretty sure Margot Margot already went back to base camp. Oh, she's playing chest alone. That's not how she should spend her honeymoon. Then again, if she's going to be the the wife of a politician, she's going to have to get used to being alone. Maybe she can uh, serve dinner. She can't cook anything, though. He should actually go upstairs and uh, take a shower and all that. She actually needs to as well, but she's going to make dinner first. To be honest, I think they've seen all the sites that were important in um, France. And I think that they had a lot of fun. So I think in the morning, I'm going to end their trip and send them home. And of course, then they had to make their way back home to Cecilia and Cece. And then, you know, we, you know what, we, Marco needs to talk to Theodore about that. Because it was never planned for Cece to show up in the first place. It was not planned on CC to stay with Cecilia. Cecilia was just going to stay home alone. Why is CC even still there? Okay, Cecilia is obviously old enough to stay home alone. She's done it before. So why did CC come at this last minute and then invited herself to stay? I think she needs to talk to Theodore about all that. So when he gets out, did he just eat one of the grapes? Oh my goodness. We bought those for our home nectary. I can't believe he just ate that grape. You know, I'm taking all the grapes away from him now. I can't believe that, man. Eating all the grapes. Oh, Margo better not eat any of the grapes. She better don't. Well, at least the food was good. And now she can head on upstairs, go to the bathroom. She doesn't really need a shower, so she can just go into the bathroom. Did this girl just get in our bed? Looking like Ashley Corona. That is our bed. We reserved this room. No. Can we lock these doors after they leave? We can't even lock the doors to clean the room as our own. But we claim this bed. We claim this bed. This is our bed. This is the haves room. Get out of it. Yes, make it up and then... Yes, make up the bed and then leave. Get out. Sleeping in just your panties and a t-shirt. Get out of there. Theodore, what? okay, yeah, our vacation's almost over anyway, so we're, it really wouldn't matter if we left it. Now, before they go to bed, they need to have a little bit of a talk. Sweetheart, I know we're going home tomorrow, and I just want to ask you. Of course, dear, what would you want to ask me? 
I want to know exactly how long do you think your mother's going to be staying with us? Sweetheart, I truly honestly don't know. I thought she'd be leaving right after the wedding. Well, I honestly don't mind your mother being there, although she doesn't seem to like me. But the thing is, uh... We're newlyweds, and we need time to be alone, you know, to just to marry life. So maybe when we get home, can you ask her, you know, just leave? But, of course, tell her that nicely. Do you mind, sweetheart? You understand what I'm saying, right? You're right, dear. I'll talk to her. Now, paparazzi, please, go away. We're not trying to draw your attention. We're trying to go to bed. Well, you know, I don't care if paparazzi is watching us. We are going to have our woohoo time. Because this is our honeymoon. If this guy's following us, that's his fault. I'm going to cuddle my new wife. I'm going to make out with my new wife. And him watching me is not going to stop that. Go ahead. Take as many pictures as you want. I wish he would leave, though. Oh my goodness, they're sending two paparazzis after us? Why is everyone watching us do it? You Parisians are perverts. Get out of here. They're like, we, we, we want to see your pee-pee. Get out of here. Leave now. They're seriously not leaving, though. Get out. Trying to be romantic with his wife, and they're just watching every single move he makes. They're like, oh, yeah, we want to get them doing it from every angle. Get out of here, sir. Stop it. How you make this man leave? Declare. I'm going to I'm gonna have to not woohoo my wife. I'm about to slap this man. He watching us. We about to have a fight. Yeah, we fighting. We fighting. Excuse me, dear. I must take care of this ruffian. See, Margo is going to be missing out. We need to talk to this man. Dear sir, I tell you, stop watching us. Now leave our room. He won't leave. Well, we're going to bed. Well, we're going to bed, because we got to go back to Sim Hat in the morning. And this man refused to leave. Now they're not going to get to enjoy the last night of their honeymoon. And, and they're both just chilling in our room. Theodore didn't even get to enjoy the last night of his honeymoon with Margot because this man is all up in their face. You know what? No. 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 They're not even going to get sleep here. Forget it. Forget it. We're going home. Not only are we going home, we're going home. Now, this vacation is over. The honeymoon is over. We going home. These people won't get the hell out of our room. This is so unprofessional. When I get back home, I'm rating this place only two stars. The accommodations are horrible. Driver, please, be ready to take us to the airport. I must leave here immediately. And here comes the happy couple now, back from their honeymoon, straight from Paris. Oh, I know they can't wait to be back home. Those horrible Parisian paparazzi. They were just following them everywhere. I know it must feel good to be back home. I wonder how Cece and Cecilia have been getting along. So you're telling me you seriously had a affair with Prince Charles? I don't believe that. He's gross looking. How could you be with him? Dear, when you're six martinis in, you hardly notice looks anymore. Believe me. <laughs> I can't believe it. He used to have me put my legs behind my head. Mother, what have I told you about telling stories like that to young children? Oh, I'm always being scolded as if I'm your child, Theodore. Really, I'm your mother. Have some respect. Cecilia, go upstairs. Oh, Theodore, don't get your panties in a twist. Remember when you was younger and I used to tell these kinds of stories to your friends? They used to love it. You got me thrown out of Princeton. Well, that was for a different reason. You know, your headmaster was quite flexible as well. But when he found out I wasn't but when he found out I wasn't a widow, he was quite upset. Understandably. He didn't want to share. Mother, seriously, we need to talk. Now that me and Margot are back from our honeymoon, I think it's time you left. I think it's time that you go back home to father. I mean, isn't he missing you? Sweetheart, I've been meaning to tell you about that. Um your father and I have separated. Separated? But why? I mean, I'm, I'm confused. You told me you came here for the wedding. 
Sweetheart, I didn't want to worry you. We're just having a little bit of a spat over me buying the tiniest little item. A tiny item. Father's mad at you for buying a tiny item. Mother. Sweetheart, I bought a private jet and your father act like it was the end of the world. It's like he expected me to travel first class for the rest of my life. Mom, you bought a private jet? No wonder he's upset with you. Now, sweetheart, you start to sound like your father. It's not like we don't have the money. I'm his wife. I deserve the best. But, Mom, you don't work. You just drink all day. Excuse me? How dare you insinuate I'm an alcoholic? Now I need a drink just to calm my nerves. Look how you gonna upset me. Oh, Theodore, he's in the doghouse now. My son's so ungrateful, trying to kick out his mother. Ooh, this drink is delicious. Sweetheart, did you talk to your mother about when she's going home? You promised in Paris she wouldn't be here very long. Well, my dear, there's been kind of a mishap. It seems mother and father are fighting and, well, mother has nowhere else to go. Um, that's nice, dear, but why must she stay here? Sweetheart, she's my mother. I can't kick her onto the street. It would be cold-hearted. Well, why can't you put her in a hotel? And not here? Sweetie, we need alone time, please. Okay, darling, you're right. I'll put her up in her hotel. But uh, speaking of Cecilia's room, I wanted to talk to you about that as well. Uh, what about it? I know she decorated without our consent, but I didn't think you were still upset about that. Actually, I was thinking you could use that room as a study. A big campaign headquarters. Well, that's nice, but then where would Cecilia stay? Well, I was thinking maybe she should go to boarding school. The girls in desperate need a discipline. What exactly do you mean, discipline? Oh, honey, you're taking it the wrong way. I simply just mean she needs structure in her life. You've been doing a fantastic job with her, but... No, no, no. Theodore, I know what you're trying to do, and I'm not gonna stand for it. My daughter's staying with me, sweetheart. She'll ruin our campaigns. We'll never get elected. Do you want her to stand in your way? She is my daughter, but your job could be in jeopardy because of her. Just think about it, Margo. I can't believe Theodore is really trying to talk Margo into it, and Margo's really considering it. Oh, and apparently Cecilia has heard it. Oh, and apparently Cecilia has heard, and she is not happy about it. You absolute asshole. You think you're going to really send me away? Outrageous! You can't send me away. I know what you did at your bachelor party. Theodore, what is she talking about? Mom, you absolute idiot! He cheated on you! With a stripper! Everyone knows about it! What?! Oh my god! Theodore! That little bitch! Theodore! Margo, my love, I swear she's lying! She's trying to tear us apart! You know she doesn't like me! This is what I'm talking about! This is why we must simply send her somewhere so she can stop acting out! Theodore, I think you have a point. But sending her away is not the solution. Just until the campaign is over. I don't believe this. You're really listening to him? Mom, I can't believe you're taking his side over mine. You're believing his lies. Well, you know what, Mom? You can send me away if you want. I don't even want to live here with you or him. The only decent person in this house is Cece, and she's an absolute drunk. But at least she's fun. You two are stupid. That's it, young lady. You are out of control. Go to your room. I don't want to hear about this anymore. It's like Margot is like brainwashed by Theodore. She's listening to everything he says. This is just crazy. It's like invaders of the body snatchers. Maybe Cecilia would be better off leaving. Her own mother doesn't believe her. I mean, she knows when she's not wanted. Sweetheart, what's wrong? Theodore is getting me kicked out. He's sending me to boarding school. What are you talking about, sweetie? Start from the beginning, because I am confused. Plus, I'm a little bit drunk. Well, I told my mom that Theodore cheated on her at his bachelor party. And she didn't believe me. She took his side. And they're going to send me away to boarding school now. 
Oh, don't you worry, dear. I'll talk to Theodore. Now, where did they go? They went to sleep? Uh-uh. I do not care if they are jet lagged. Cece's gonna take care of this one. Cece, I know you're a little bit tipsy, but you need to sober up and focus right now. They're trying to send away Cecilia. Come on. There we go. Cece can fix this. Theodore, wake up now. We need to talk. Mother, me and Margo was trying to get some sleep. What is it you want? Theodore, what do you think you're doing sending that poor girl away? And accusing her of lying when everyone knows that you've been cheating on Margot. Mother, you heard about that? How? I mean, it just happened the day before you got here. Sweetheart, it's been in the papers all week long. You're lucky Margot hasn't seen yet. You cannot send that girl away. She's done absolutely nothing wrong. I'm actually quite fond of that little girl. She's quite sweet, actually. Reminds me of a younger me. Yeah, I'm sure she is the younger version of you. Listen, mother, I've been meaning to talk to you anyway. Oh, really? And what was it you wanted to talk to me about, Theodore? How you're being an absolute jerk? I already knew that. Well, actually, mother, I need you to pack your things and go to a hotel. You can't stay here for the rest of your stay. Until father and you work things out, you're going to be at a resort. <laughs> oh, no, sweetheart. No, 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 no. Let me remind you, Theodore, I am your mother. And if you do recall, me and father helped you pay for this house. And correct me if I'm wrong, but you still haven't even paid us back for that. Theodore Robert has. You are not sending that girl away. And if you think you can kick me out, you must be insane. <laughs> it's settled then. I'm staying. You're not sending Cecilia away. And I'm going to go have another drink. Now apologize to your mother immediately. Okay, mother, I'm sorry. I apologize. Of course you are, son. Ooh, well, that settles that. Cece is here to stay, and so is Cecilia. And Margo doesn't seem happy about it. I can't believe Theodore's letting her stay. Ugh, I may have to become an alcoholic, too. Ooh, but this drink is pretty good. She's gonna make my life a living nightmare. Oh, well, you're gonna have to put down that drink, cause guess what? The honeymoon's over, and it's time for you to go back to work. Alright, well, she's all dressed for work, so she needs to get to our carpool. Well, maybe her day back at work will help her forget that Theodore may or may not have cheated on her, and that she may or may not go insane because her mother-in-law will be staying with her indefinitely. And if the cheating rumor is true, she's gonna have to do some major apologizing to Cecilia. But of course, Theodore still has a few days off work for himself. So what is he going to be doing all day long? 